The lasers in movies that look cool, make a fun noise and blow stuff up used to be a long way from the reality, when the most fun to be had was pointing one at a wall and watching a cat go mental. In 2014 though, the US Navy will be rolling out battleships armed with actual lasers that can shoot drones out of the sky, which is definitely a lot more scary. It's not just the military using drones anymore either. Law agencies have started taking to the skies with machines kitted out with grenades, tasers and automatic shotguns, which should be enough to strike fear into the hearts of paranoiacs everywhere. A one-ton car careening down the road without a driver. What could possibly go wrong? Even though automated cars have shown to be safer than human controlled ones, it's only a matter of time before one plows into a bus full of puppies and orphans and the whole world goes berserk. Messing with mother nature to reverse the mess we've already made is really just asking for more trouble. The problem is we don't know whether pumping stuff into the sky or sea will irreversibly screw up the planet's weather or awaken a kraken. 3D printing seems very cool until you start to consider the more sinister possibilities. Recently, we've seen working gun parts become freely available online, potentially giving anybody with a 3D printer and the ability to read instructions access to potentially deadly weapons. Awesome, right? Robot surgeons are already in use and are more accurate and much less likely to leave their watch inside a patient than real ones. But what's to say one won't malfunction and have out our squishy bits like a real-life game of operation, except resulting in death, rather than just a funny noise and mild disappointment. The idea of self-replicating robots floating around eating up all the nasty bits in the air sounds all well and good on paper. But during the 80s it was theorised that if we got their programming wrong, they might end up devouring all carbon-based life forms on Earth. Probability? Unlikely, but still something to keep you up at night. Terminator, iRobot and The Matrix, each of these films paints a frightening picture of a future where our quest for ever more intelligent machines leads to our ultimate demise. The moment AI is expected to surpass human intelligence has been pegged for 2045 by futurist Ray Kurzweil, meaning we could all be toast by 2050. Just because cyber terrorism is so far contained to Bruce Willis films doesn't mean there isn't a genuine risk. The Stuxnet worm that found its way into Iranian nuclear facilities in 2010 was designed to target everyday things like oil and gas lines, electricity supplies and even things like traffic lights, making the idea of a more advanced successor all the more sinister. A mule-sized robot that sounds like an angry hornet can chase you anywhere and moves like some horrific dog-robot crossbreeding experiment sounds like something from a body horror B-movie. In fact, this machine is up and running. Officially, Big Dog is for carrying soldiers' equipment across rough terrain, but that won't stop us dreaming about it chasing us through a dark forest for the next fortnight. So there you go, 10 future technologies that will probably kill us all. And who said tech was dull? For more great videos just like this, be sure to subscribe to techradar.com.